Hmm. Let me turn this other thing off over here. Oh my goodness, folks. It has took me this long to get my computer fixed. So I'm going to set it up uh, way so. Mm, I don't know if I can do that. Moral of the story is this. Two, half, two and a half, three weeks ago, I did a video for Ty Rayo. I did a video called, uh, what do you call the uh, 40 minutes of gender bending racial church shooting. Um, and uh, the video was the regular 40 minutes, like 42 minutes. And then I talked about the, the Bruce Jenner thing. I'm not going to give him that, you know. I talked about that, and um, I talked about, uh, you know, the little crazy kid and the, and the church shooting, and I talked about the quick to forgive and all that stuff, um, but the main reason I did that video is because the courts had just uh, allowed same-sex marriage and whatnot, and you know, everything is based on wording. And, you know, people didn't have to get all up in arms. And, you know, that whole same-sex thing could have been handled differently. By calling it, you know, a union. But by using the word sex, that made it, you know, weird. To be honest with you, by naming it same-sex. Sex. 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 It made it weird. And it's like, you know, these people... We grew up with gay people our entire lives, and I don't remember anybody gay being in a fucking closet. I don't remember people hiding what they fucking did. But people just didn't talk about it. And now all of a sudden, there's this coming out. Motherfuckers were never in. Now, let's get to the Bruce situation. And when we were growing up, there were men who loved to wear women's clothes. It was all over the news. Men got caught women, you know, stealing women's clothes. Men get men uh, found in the store uh, late after hours dressed in women's clothes and shit. I mean, there was men who were closet cross dressers. There was men who liked to wear women's shoes and shit. But they were, were they cross dressers? You know what I mean? They weren't transgender. Transgender. They they were they were cross dressers. That's what they did. They cross dressed. Went into the nighttime or something. They put on women's clothes and some of them walked around the streets and shit. Whatever. Men were getting busted for just wearing women's clothes. They were cross dressers. And this guy gets emasculated by some chick on TV part of some Luciferian experiment, whatever, I don't know, and I don't care, and all of a sudden, murders people in his car, and gets boobs, and, oh, I want to be a lesbian. You have plastic surgery to become a 56-year-old lesbian. 60-year-old, I don't know, I forget. You know, some of the ugliest lesbians is seven feet tall and 60 years old, you know that. I just want to say, to go through all this, to be a cross-dresser in public, wasn't worth it. You're still going to go to prison for vehicular manslaughter. You don't feel sorry for you? And another thing that hurt so bad and literally drove me to fucking tears. I did not change my so-called 
Facebook picture. I didn't do that. They say Facebook gives you everybody's picture. I was watching a YouTube video and I was getting ready to do a video. I mean, it's like I'm just watching the video. I'm thinking, ah, what kind of video should I do? And then the autoplay timer was on. I looked up and I'm like, well, since it's Chinese, I don't know what this is. I looked up in the corner and, um, Caitlin photo shoot clicked it off turned it off every time I see this person's image I turn the TV off I literally just turn the TV off TMZ stop trying to make it more than what it is it's a man cross-dressing with breast implants, facial reconstruction surgery. He's not transgender, so he still has a penis. There's men with gynecomastia that have big, real breasts. People, you have lost your fucking mind. This person is not a hero. He's a person that has made a decision that is nobody's business but his own and it's illogical to those people who do have sexual uh, confusion going on in their mind. I don't know. I don't know. You know, I hear there's going to be a law where um, even a 16 year old can go have reconstructive surgery if they feel that's what they want to do and they don't have to tell their parents now I met this guy he was a hairdresser and one of my ex-girlfriends he owned a hair shop and he was gay and I'm like why are you gay? He said because he was molested, and when he was molested, he was a girl. So, years of being a girl, he became a girl. I looked at him in his face, and I put both my hands on his shoulder, and I said, Man, you are not gay. Why did you say that? I said, because somebody told you that you were something that don't make it so. I don't know whatever happened to him, but I feel bad for him. I was molested. I got a wife and kids. He ain't going to never be molested. He's going to be who he wants to be. I don't want a man. I never thought about it. It repulses me. I get angry. That's why. I don't like certain gay people. And to be politically correct, you're supposed to say you like everybody? If a black person beat you up when you was a little kid, and only one black person ever came to your help, and all the other ones were laughing at you, you will have a hatred towards most black people. And that hatred ain't gonna go away. And those people who understand you and what you went through and why you were traumatized, they, they gonna be, you know, forgiving you. They will understand why you speak the way you do. For those black people who have been mistreated by white folks, those white people who know you, who who listen to you and respect you, and who've known what you've gone through, those people understand why you speak the way you do. But every incident and every traumatic thing you go through in life that does not make you. You 
you create who you want to be. Now, a weaker mind is programmed. Programmed through the TV. They have gotten better with it. Programmed through the screen on their computer. The retina displays and they send little dots across the screen into your eyes. The brand new uh, smart TVs that send out alpha waves in your mind so people don't believe you have any controls over your faculties and one more thing because I got uh, a lot more time left I want to tell some people something I'm going to get back to the flag debate. I can care less about the Confederate flag. Um, red, green, and black is gone. The stars and bars is gone. They're 600 years apart, but they're both gone now. That way of life is over. Now, the national African-American flag was put down when African-Americans literally had a voice politically. And the Confederate flag was the voice of the Confederate people or whatnot, their battle flag. So their real flag is still hanging somewhere. They only retired the battle. They're not in battle anymore. They retired the battle flag just recently. But um, I want to say some serious stuff now. Um, this is the most hated flag on the planet Earth right now. This flag. There's more people hate this flag than the people in this country. This flag is a symbol of slavery, death, um, a symbol of uh, infiltration, a symbol of, what's that when um, somebody's uh, in your country you don't want them to be? This is one of the worst symbols on the entire planet. This is my flag. This is the flag, Savannah, wherever I was born under. And this is one of the most hated symbols in the world. This is my flag. This is a representation of all my people. We are not the sum of the image that we have become. We are better than the image that is back on this flag that people see around the world. They see us as the empire, the evil empire. This is what other people want to burn. They want to burn us. This is the worst flag on the planet Earth. This is my flag. It was once great. Now, we're reduced to terrorists around the world. That's how we're looked at. But this is my flag. And I'll be goddamned if anybody fucking gets this flag. So fuck those who don't know because we're better than that. We were once great. So we need to take this back. So it can be great again. So it can, this can be the best again. We need to take this back. So other people around the world who want to have this. We need to take it back. So everyone can want a piece of this again. Not a piece of it so it can be exploited. A piece of it so it can be cherished. Not a piece of it 
as a pawn of the game, a piece of it as a way of life, a piece of it to prove that there's good, a piece of it, you know, to make it better. You know, but instead, we had vampires on sucking the colors out, draining the colors away, fading away what it was supposed to be. But we sit here and we complain and we bitch and they took my thing. I'm going to get them thing in the man, man, but they be it's stupid. This is what we should be worried about. This. This is what we should be worried about. But. We all look like scumbags because we don't care what they do with this. And I can prove it. Get on the internet. Look at how other countries treat their, their immigrants and their people. Go on down. Look at those people. You can look at us and compare us to them. And then look at what they think about us. And just say, oh, we didn't do that. <laughs> we thought we were helping. Now, has anybody watched the movie Home? We're the boo. We are the boo. Understand that? So, we are back. We'll take a break here and um, hmm. Get a message from our sponsor. These things are good. The cans are great for holding these things. Drink yerba mate. Yerba mate. Get some yerba in your life. Today's alcohol beverages are brought to you by Bud Light, Mango Rita, and Coors Light with Silver Bullet. Now, I'm back. So we know the Golden State Warriors have won the championships and you know, that's all great and fine and dandy and everything. And when you love your team, you love your team. Now, I should have took another break and we got some more stuff so I can do this next segment. But I'm just going to go with it and tell you how I really feel about the NBA store and buying shit from the stadium. Now, when you go to the Raider games and stuff, man, it's a great time. You got your people there. I got my people actually playing on the field. Ha, 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 in the Raiders game. If you don't know, now you know it's the truth. So check it out. <laughs> now, so, um, <coughs> you go and you spend your money on jerseys. You know, I bought this jersey. This was the same night that they beat Denver. What the hell was that about? They beat the Dallas Mavericks, um, we believe. Of course, I got my lanyards um, from just recently, the championship. Now, my old lanyards from the season started. I got my hmm, championship banner. It should be right there. But it's not. But I got my championship banner. It's hanging on the door over there. And, of course, everybody knows I get custom-made jerseys. Now, the last jersey I got, I got the blue one. And um, I bought it at the game. And when you go to the game, you expect to get top quality at the game. The game is where, you know, hey, I bought this at the game. This is authentic because it came from the game. You know what I mean? There's just something different. You got your Walmart. You got your J.C. Penney. You got your Jefferson Ward. You got your Montgomery Ward. No, I didn't use that. 
they got the malls and all these other places, sports authorities, and you know, different places where you go to find your jerseys. I like custom. I think they got Mitchell and Ness. They do custom. So I like custom jerseys. Now, this right here was classic. And now this shot. You can't even see the numbers no more. Bam! It's a shot. Lame shot. Bam! So I'm like, okay. I don't like the blue one. Because the name, the guy couldn't get my name on the back. So he had to put a separation in all the letters. And there's like a rainbow on the back of the jersey. That was all right. Then I got the number 99 on it. Love it. And when it comes to the front, I had a big old patch. The big yellow, you know, patch with the bridge on it and whatnot. And there was no numbers in it. I'm like, dude, the numbers are missing. Couldn't get my money back. They don't give you money back. Didn't have the template for the number 99. You couldn't cut two nines out. I just saw you cut my name out on the computer. All it takes you to do is put a blue piece up there, cut two nines out, put the two nines on there. But he couldn't do it. So now I'm walking around with a hundred dollar jersey. Looks fake. Name on the back. Look like a, looks fake to me. But okay, I bite my tongue. Went back to my seat. Oh, I bought the yeah, yeah, I bought that one at the game too. Went back to my seat and they lost. First time I was ever at a Warrior game and they lost. I don't even like their jersey no more. I eat with it, smoke with it on, and got soda on it, got oil on it. Fuck that jersey. I hate the blue jersey. But it is what it is. I'm going to take another quick break real quick and I'll come back and I'll show you what I bought from the um, NBA store. Um, when I, you know, they let you bake the jersey first so then you look at it and see how the jersey looks. Now, I am a true Warriors fan. Now, I'm going to have to start going to some non-NBA people to go get my jerseys made. And that's the truth. Because if I'm going to love my team the way I do, which I do, I want my jersey to look authentic. And then they tell you to only buy authentic. And when you do buy authentic and it looks fake, who wants that? Now, I'll come back with the new jersey, the brand new jersey I bought the same day they won the championship show my love, you know what I'm saying? I want to show you what this jersey looks like. And I want you to tell me what's wrong with it. Because anybody knows how these jerseys look, there's a certain way it fits. And when I had the jersey made on the screen, it was like, final, final. Someone has got it. Because this one right here, this one right here, if I look, if, if, that's a lot. When I go back, I'm going to go get another one just like this man. At the, at the, at the show. And then this is the only one. Or they have the other one that you got to send for. It's like 220 And if I give them $220, they come out all jankity. Can't trust them for that. I'll be right back. I get my jersey right. Now, what's wrong with the jersey, y'all? You know? Now, I get this jersey right. And, you know, everything looks cool at, at first. And I'm like, you know, something's wrong. Can you tell what's wrong, folks? What's wrong is these numbers are supposed to be right over here. Not up at the top of the bridge. You know? Not there. They should be right there. 
So when I look at it, it looks fake. It looks boosty. It looks like doo-doo. Because the numbers are not where they were when the jersey was rendered. Don't even look right. So, once again, I am, you know, spending money because they tell you, <laughs> buy, buy only, you know, from, you know, legitimate sources. And this is a legitimate source, but it looks boosty. It looks fake. Look like I did it myself. I might as well have went and just had somebody make the jersey for me. Because it probably would have been right. And you know, you say to yourself, I'm only going to get authentic. Come on, man. I ordered this. This one was like 90 bucks. I should have grabbed the blue one while I was in the house, too. You grab the banner off the jersey. I went and got all my shit. And look. I spent good money on that shit. And look. Looks faulty. And the policy is they don't take custom shit back. I complain about it. They, they're like, uh, oh, well, uh, we don't take custom stuff back. That's the end of it. Money just lost, and you sit there with something that you really don't like. So, what is the moral of that story? That's why my name is on the back of the jersey. Why would I go buy a custom-made Curry jersey or a custom-made somebody else jersey? This is just a way for them to say, well, you already got one of the other jerseys. It looks more like the real thing because... No one has that number. Well, the rendering of this jersey shows the numbers in proper place in perspective to the top of the bridge. These numbers are almost centered. This is not like they said it was going to be. So this is not my favorite jersey. The back is perfect. It's a bomb. That's what it's supposed to look like. That's what it's supposed to be. I'm going to wear it backwards. Doo doo. So, when it's your money, you should spend it where you want to. Um, I'm not going to buy authentic no more because of that. They did this one right. They did those other two wrong. Two out of three. That's not good. Two out of three mistakes. It's not good. This is what? Ninety bucks. A hundred dollars. It's only it's only a hundred dollars. You tell somebody who does not have a hundred dollars. Or you tell somebody who hasn't had a hundred dollars in a long time that, yeah, look, it's only a hundred dollars. Tell somebody that shit. A hundred dollars is a lot of money for some people in America. And some people think, everyone in America's got hundreds of thousands.
We live like we're rich. We go around buying jerseys and shit like <laughs> somebody said, dude, you got a lot of jerseys. Let's see in this room. Do I have another jersey in this room? Some clothes over here, let's see. I remember I thought swearing was a rod. The garage, aka my office. Let me see. Open this bag here. Oh, let me see if anybody remember. Can anybody tell me? Remember this? Remember these days? <laughs> Boy, out the bag. Oh yeah, that's the same thing. Remember that? Come on, show me. Oh, do I have any jerseys? <laughs> oh, not a jersey. These are all clothes I've left out here in my office. Oh, I can wear these again. Oh, not a jersey. Shit out, man. I can put it all in the bag. Uh oh, what's this? What is this? What's this? It's, it's sports related. It is not a jersey. Remember this? Remember the Charlotte Hornets? <laughs> Some people probably never heard of the Charlotte Hornets. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. What is this? What is this? This is a Percy Miller jersey. Anybody know who Percy Miller is? This is a Percy Miller jersey. Yeah. There's a jersey for you. Don't count. Let me see here. I have one, one bona fide jersey in there. I got, I got one real, got that one real jersey in there. Uh. I don't have a lot of jerseys. Huh. Can I get a Raiders jersey in there? What is this? Huh. Not a jersey. But it's tight. Muscle armor shirt. Nope. Oh, oh. That's about it today. There is a jersey over that box right there, I see it. <laughs> I think that's the old Whipson jersey. So, like I used to tell people back in the day, you've been tubed. I'm going to cut this thing short, but I'm going to give you a preview of the next video. What I'm going to do is I'll set it up and I'll shut this down. And then I'll transfer the video to my mainframe over here. And then we'll watch it all. Maybe I'll put that video on this screen. I 
set the other camera on that thing, and then I can pull it around again. Oh, I just saw myself without a nose guard on my eyes. But the next video is, I told you I did a video a couple weeks about the gender bending and all that stuff. Um, what I want to do is play that video and critique it. I'm going to actually play the video and watch it with you. And then if I don't agree with what I used to agree with, I'll stop the video and say, you know, I don't agree with that anymore. People's minds change. This is uh, something I've never done before. And um, that will definitely be the next video that I'm going to do based on a video that I told you about in the beginning of this video. Um, I think that's about it for today. I'm glad I got this thing to work, but I, well, it is what it is. But um, this is 40 minutes. And you've been choosing. And I think this might be the first episode of 40 minutes that don't go past 40 minutes. So, man, how can you tell me I have freaky in my eye? Just sit here and talk to me for all this time. You didn't tell me. You didn't choose.